Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a very simple paper rip effect transition that you can create for free inside of Resolve. Before I begin, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click that like button. All right, let's get into it. So as you can see here, I've got a few rip effects here. It starts off with a green background and then a blue background. The green background simply means that this is going to be where the first video is going to be. And then the blue background is for the second video creating that transition. And to download these paper rip effects, you'll need to go to the CinePacks website, or you could just click the link in the description below. All right, so I'm on the CinePacks website. All you need to do is go over to free packs and we'll scroll down to paper rip effects. Now you can add all of these other packs into your cart, but for this tutorial, we are just using paper rip effects. Just click that, we'll add it to the cart. Proceed to check out. And then fill in your contact details and billing address. Once you've filled everything in, click continue to payment. And then you just click pay now and you will get your download link. Once you've unzipped the download file, just import your clips into your media pool. So let's just add our two clips that we want to create this transition for. So I'm just going to click this one here and this is going to be our secondary clip. And I need to do a little bit of a color correction to make this more presentable and ready for a final export. So I'm just going to give it a quick color correction. Okay, that's looking much better now with a quick color correction. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to find which clip I want to use. I want to use wipe number three. I'm just going to click and drag it to video layer number two, just above the first video clip. And now we've got to key out the green. So let's go over to the color tab. All right, so now we're in the color tab and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to add alpha output. And just adding an alpha output will allow us to see our video layer underneath. So let's select the green. Cool. And it hasn't really done much, but let's scrub through and something weird is going on. We don't want to be seeing the black because the black is the transparent part. So to fix that, go over to your qualifier tab and let's go over to our selection range and let's invert it. And now you can see the blue background and the paper. I'm just going to zoom in. And there's a few things that we can adjust to make it cleaner because you can see that there's still a little bit of green on the edges. So let's clean that up a little bit. And the best way to do it I've found is just adjusting the saturation and the luminance. That will get rid of most of it. And then you can do a little bit of tweaking over here with the matte finesse. That's looking pretty good already. I don't think I need to adjust the matte finesse. So let's go back to the edit tab and let's play it back. And there we go. That's our first clip done. And now to key out the blue for our second video, it's very simple. Let's just select these two clips and let's right click and let's create a new compound clip and let's call this paper rip. You can call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it for this. I'm just going to call it that for this tutorial and then click create. And then I'm just going to drag this up to video layer two. And then we're going to find the point where the blue starts on frame. And then we're just going to go a frame back and we're just going to click and drag our second clip underneath and then we're just going to play through a little bit i think here is good and i'm just going to go over to the color tab i'm just going to zoom in really close then i'm just going to right click and add an alpha output do the same thing as we did before click the blue we'll invert it then adjust our saturation Might be a little bit too much. There we go. 
Then I'm just going to adjust it a bit more by adjusting the denoise and that cleans the edges up a bit more. Clean black. There's looking good. I don't know if you can see it well on, on your computer screens, but there's still a little bit of a blue line. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. And then let's go back to the edit tab and there we go. So that's how you create the paper rip transition effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.